were right. We can't fight them. Well, we can't. Excuse me, miss. Uh, would you tell Mr. Kinley we appreciate all of his help? Of course. Help. Actually, Kinley helped for the bit. The only problem we have now is whether or not I still have the touch to pull out the little covert operation. What are you talking about? I mean, what I'm talking about is that you're looking at the guy who used to be the WSB champion black bag man. Don't give up. Let's go. No, it isn't good. Anna's becoming a suspicious of Scorpio. Yeah, well, it's worse than I think. It couldn't be worse. Boss, someone's trying to set you up. What are you talking about? Read the note. If you want to know more about your husband, check Duke's club. So what? So no one can write that unless you're on the inside. You're saying the cars are moved? No, it's... But Mrs. Woods gave that to Anna. Well, she's Anna's client. What did you tell her? I told him maybe Robert was behind this. He was trying to discredit me. Boss, someone's out to catch you. We're doing a pretty good job of it, too, don't you think? Hello. Miss is here. Hi, Anna. Hi. I'm darling. You're not interrupting anything, are you? No, 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 no. I was just on my way to the storeroom to check some supplies. I, I wanted to make sure that he didn't think I was good. Uh -huh. See you in a bit. About the night. Yeah, I thought every day you got accused of making somebody disappear. I'll talk to you for a minute. Sure. Now, Robert hasn't found anything down on the dock. And you say you don't know anything about Marty Woods' disappearance. But there has to be a reason that this note was delivered to Mrs. Woods. Well, Angel says that somebody's probably trying to set me up, but I have a different theory. What's that? I think the note was meant for you. Me? Yeah. I think sent for the person who's responsible for the disappearance in order for the investigation to be dropped. Yeah. I mean, what better way than to implicate a member of the family? So I read the note, I want to protect you, and I drop the case. Yeah. And it's likely that you talk Robert into doing exactly the same. Hmm. Very good. Not very flattering, very good. Well, unfortunately, at the moment, it's just a theory. I mean, unless you, you do find a body, I don't think you're ever going to find out what happened to Mr. You saw something else? If this really is the end of the line, we don't find a body or anything. How do I tell that to Mrs. Woods? I'm sure the whole staff will be very grateful that we've impressed you with our surgical capabilities. Now, is there anyone in particular you'd like to see again since you were here last? And if not, I'd like you to pay a visit to the rehab center. Sounds good. This one I can personally vouch for. Right this way. Bye. Jesse, here's the nurse's all our schedule for the rest of the week. Oh, thanks very Bye. much. Yes, Scott. I sure don't envy Steve. He must be doing a lot of fancy footwork from all the accreditation committee after what happened last time. Well, Steve's a pro at this, and he'll make sure they get an accurate view of the hospital, and all of the accreditation problems will be solved. Well, speaking of problems, have you given him a list of the complaints of the nurses? No, because they haven't gotten it together yet. But the nurses want to have a final meeting to review them anyway. By the way, have you talked to Lucy Cole? Lucy Cole? Lucy Jones. She was waiting for you in your office at Brownstone, remember? Oh, yeah, that's right. What did she want? A dry cleaner. <laughs> What's that, Bobby? Lucy had a little run-in with a glass of orange juice. But I'm sure she'll probably still want to see you when she cleans up her act. She said she had some legal questions about the daycare center. Somebody's parents doing the hospital? Who knows? I never believe a word she says. 
She could say good morning and I'd look out the window to see if it was raining. Uh, Jesse, I, I would say she's got some kind of a problem there with Lucy. I have to take something out to fire. me to prove the impossible. I cannot prove it and you know it. Yeah, Duke. Hey, this is Robert Scorpio here. Uh -huh. Listen, uh, we have a, a situation I think at the moment. Cheryl Stansby's disappeared from the hospital. Uh, ha have you seen her? No, I haven't, but uh, let me get Duke. Maybe he knows something. Hang on. Boss. What? It's Robert Scorpio. He wants to ask you about another disappearance. I'm getting harassed by you every time a body disappears. That's not why I'm called. Listen, I'm trying to run a couple of clubs for a living, okay? I don't snuff people out. I entertain people. I'm fed up with your harassment, man. Just calm down, will you? I'll calm down when you get off my back, Mr. It's Commissioner. It's not a police matter, Duke. It's personal. Well, Angel said it was about disappearing. Now, Cheryl Stansbury walked away from the hospital sometime between last night and early this morning. I thought she was extremely sick. She is, and that's the reason that we've got to find her. Now, I was wondering if by any chance some of your people may have seen her enter her apartment. No, I... I don't think so. Shell's missing. I'll ask around, Robert. I mean, do you want me to go upstairs and have a look around the penthouse? Um... Uh... Yeah, yeah, that'd be, uh... That'd be uh, nice of you. Uh... Look, I've already called and gotten their answering machine. Um, but I'd appreciate if you could go up, have a look around, see if there's any clothes or other things like that have been taken. Okay. I'll do it right away. Where are you? Where can I? Where can I reach you? I'm on my way to the hospital. You can have your page there. Oh, one more thing. Yeah. Uh, sorry about the mix-up. I'll call you if I find out. Right, let's get out to the hospital and make life tough for someone. 